Hello guys, welcome to this channel and into this video I'm going to show you on how to create a login form in Microsoft Access with different security level. So if you're still interested, please watch this video. First thing to do guys is to create a form design. So something like this. And let's put some text box. Let's copy paste. So change name this one so we will name this one as username and this one password okay this one also the name of this um, text box is username this one is password And let's put some command button. Let's cancel the wizard. The name of this command button is, or the level, is login. Copy paste. Exit. Okay. And then let's um, change the format. This one pop up should be yes. And then this one record selector with on type dot one because there's no record to be selected. So we'll make this no. This one also navigation button no. And then the scroll bar neither. Okay. And we will put a caption it's for login okay let's try okay this one guys and then we will save this one control s it's for login okay So, we will put some code. We will remember, guys, uh, the name of this uh, text box is username. This one also is password. So, by the way, guys, I have already also created a table for security level, this one. So, I put level 1 and level 2, admin and user. And also um, security count. So this one, we have employee name, the username, and the password, and also the security security label. So we will need this one, guys. So now let's start. So what if the username is um, null or there's no data? So we will put a code for it. F. Let's start with F. If um, is null me that username then what will happen message box please enter the correct username okay something like that and then bb information and also the title username required Okay. And then after that, the focus of the cursor will go back to the username text box. So, me that username that set focus. Okay. And F, don't forget to put end F every time we have to put F. Okay. So, let's try. Okay, username required. Please enter the correct username. If we will put something or the letters or numbers, so log in so there's no action. So 
So again, so we'll proceed to password. Else if is null. Me that password. Then this is box again. Please enter the correct password. And then BB information and then the title is password required. Okay. And then me that password set focus. So let's try. Okay. There's no error. Please enter the correct username. Let's put something admin. And then log in. Please enter the correct password. One, two, three. So now let's proceed. If username and password what will happen if it is correct or wrong so let's put a code here else if and then open parenthesis is null when they look up so string we will look up to the this one user account so we will put we will look up the username this one we'll open this one username so let's type username and then the next uh, parameter is domain a string so the domain is the name of the table which is the user account so let's put user Count. and then the next criteria is or the criteria so let's type equals and this one and me that username that value and double quote single quote double quote and then we will put three in close parenthesis so one two three so we'll put three also um closing parenthesis or and okay but i forgot to put single apostrophe here okay and then enter so next is is null the look up password okay this one password and then user account also user account and then password and me that password that value and two only to open parenthesis because one two so that's it then because that's it then what will happen message box username or password is incorrect And then BB critical, I'll put critical. And then the title is login. So, yeah. okay. something like this. I will put NF. Okay. 
So Please enter the correct username. Let's put on that one. Password and then log in. Use username or password is incorrect. So let's type the correct username and password. So like for example, this one admin and then the password is one two three. Let's put admin. Password is one two three. So meaning to say this is correct. What if we will put the wrong password? One two three four five. Okay, that one. So username or password is incorrect. So let us continue. If this is incorrect, so it will be cleared, and then the focus will go back to username. So we'll put me that username equals that one and also me that password equals that one null and then me that username that's it focus okay let's try username or password is incorrect when we click this okay okay guys so the details um, deleted and also the cursor or the focus is in the username so now what if the password and the username is correct so we will proceed according guys let's put else else because this is if so let's put else message box um something like this access granted you may proceed and okay that one and then open the form or uh, this one also only example admin one two three access granted you may proceed if the password is wrong username or password is incorrect so now this is the time to put a uh, security label so we'll make um we will insert here dim user label as integer as or alias okay so else we'll put if user is equals to one or admin then okay message box and then open form the form to be open will be this one navigation form so let's type navigation form Okay, that one. Sorry guys, I forgot to put um, the value of the user label. Let's type else. User label is equals to let's de look up the this one. the security level they look up and then let's type the security level this one and 
and user account and me that user okay this one So now let's try. Access granted, you may proceed. And here we go. So this navigation form is open. So what if level 2? So we will put here. else if user level is equals to 2 then the admin controls this one will be open so do cmd open form admin control or this one Let's check. So, for example, this one, Eduardo Golfan, the password is 12345. Password is 12345. Click login. Okay. So, the admin controls form is being opened. 